Well, hello, this is John Yates, and I chair the technology practice at the law firm of Morris, Manning & Martin. And I'm pleased to be here today with my colleague and law partner, Michelle Madison, who heads the digital health practice at our law firm. Michelle will also be introducing our guest for the day for the MMM Tech Law and Business Report. So, Michelle, good to see you. Hi, John. Thank you. And thanks, everybody, for joining us today. It is my pleasure that we are going to speak today with Matt Ethington, who is the CEO and founder of Chronic Care IQ. And I've known Matt for many years. He's very innovative, always ahead of the game in healthcare. And I always find his insight very exciting as far as where we're going to go with healthcare in the future. And so with Matt, I'd like for you to share with our group today just the elevator pitch of what is Chronic Care IQ and what does the product do that serves your customers? Sure. And thanks for the kind words, Michelle. Chronic Care IQ is a communication platform that's driven by AI and uh, patient-specific information that enables practices to provide comprehensive remote patient care to patients outside the office. So it's, um, what it does is it, it essentially uh, establishes and maintains a virtual dialogue with complex, fragile, and chronic patients and uh, their responses then inform a color-coded dashboard that lets staff know when uh, their the cohort that they're monitoring is trending towards trouble or maybe has exceeded clinical threshold so we're just maintaining situational awareness of a patient base outside the office how does your product compare to other products that are similar in the marketplace what makes chronic care iq unique for your customers and that's a great question. We, we do have several competitors that are competing for various reimbursements. When we started Chronic Care IQ, there was, there was one reimbursement. And today, five years later, there are 21. So the differentiations that we have is that we accommodate all the reimbursements and we call it comprehensive remote patient care. The second differentiation is that we're enterprise ready. We serve large organizations as well as uh, small organizations. The third one is that it's, it's proactive. It performs outreach to the patient. So it pushes the patient engagement rather than waiting for a patient to respond to something or pick up the phone or answer a phone call, et cetera. And that proactive fashion helps those patients emotionally feel connected to their doctor and then clinically connected with the information that they're asked to provide. And I'd say the final point of differentiation is that we have documented outcomes. Like we've shown with major health system data, a 30% reduction in hospitalization and rehospitalization. It's very interesting. And let me ask as a follow-up from one of Michelle's questions too, Matt, COVID-19, the impact on the business and where you see it going in 2021, assuming we are going to be still in the pandemic as we move into the new year. Yeah, so the, the impact of COVID, fortunately for us, was a better awareness of the need for patient care that happens outside the hospital or outside the office. You know, 99% of Medicare's payments are made on behalf of chronic patients who live with their disease you know, 24 hours a day and seven days a week. And the episodic nature of care as it exists today is that you receive care when you call the doctor's office, when you show up at the doctor's office, or when you show up at the hospital. And what we've learned is that there are leading indicators that a patient is trending poorly that can be addressed while course correction is small, much less expensively, and to keep patients out of the hospital. That's so cool. COVID has actually expanded our business. So 2021, is it a growth year for you? It is. It is. Given the growth that we've had in 2020, it's a little intimidating, but, uh, but we're up for the challenge. That's great. Well, Matt, thank you. I know Michelle and I are both very impressed with what you've done. You're also a serial entrepreneur, having done it multiple times which speaks volumes. And I know that uh, Michelle, who's involved in the digital health, health IT area all the time, uh, has constantly mentioned how impressed she is with your insights and foresight as to where the industry is going. So it sounds like it's gonna be an interesting Q4 and a very exciting 2021. We're proud to be working with you and we wish you all the success. Well, thanks, John. I mean, I, I, I can tell you that it's a lot easier having a team like Morris Manning and Martin uh, and specifically Morris Manning and Martin. I've worked with multiple departments and uh, happy to be working with the best. You're kind. Listen, stay well. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle.